So uh, here we have it. We're back at Allagash Lake. Um, we left the campground this morning at 6 a.m. and we got up here around 8. Um, we're doing two loads to haul everything in, but this is awesome. They fully made like a road and are plowing it. So it takes like a whole mile off of our haul in sleds. So once we figured out that we were able to park at the end of the road, we came back to do our second haul and now we're driving back down so we can park there, get the rest of our stuff, and then sled in. This is amazing. The downside to it, a lot more people would be able to access in an easier way. Um, but I think their main reasoning is they're probably going to cut in here, but they do want more people fishing this lake. Super stoked about this road being plowed out. It's great. So we're going to head back down in get camp set up, get some lunch into us, and then probably drill a couple holes, check the ice, and see if we can't get some bites for the afternoon. Tomorrow will be a whole full day of fishing.
Is. Like the pole is just like the lightest little like mm. Yep. Cusk has a lot of if it's a small cusk and has a lot of it in its mouth. You might be able to pull him right up to the hole. So it'll be gentle and then if it pulls with some force then you know it's bigger. You still feel him coming with you? Yeah, same. Oh, nice cost con. Nice. Another eater.
We all got flags, then. You can go get yours if you want. Straight down. You didn't pull, did you pull any line off the reel? Cause it's probably still sounds at the bottom. And we got I'm taking this. One. I got one on here too. Huh? I got him on here. Yeah, wow, he's going. Take it. I'm taking this tow over here. You got weight? Yep. A lot. He's pulling. I might need to help her. Okay. A lot of head shakes. A lot of head shakes. Huh? A lot of head shakes. A lot of head shakes. Come on, maybe. You got the ten foot range. About five five feet now. Nice dog. Woo! Nice dog. Feel my bait. Oh, okay, no, there it is. Yep. Some slack. Oh, he's still going with it. Do you think it's a cask? Huh? Do you think it's a cask? I don't know. He grabbed it pretty good and started pulling. And it wasn't like pull, pull, it was like steady pull. Yeah. Could be a token he's just not going for. Got him? Yep. Ooh, it might be a to uh, toge. I think it's a toge. You pull one? Yep. Toge logo! See him. I guess he's just gonna flop right out of the wall. Um. Don't tangle, don't tangle. Good boy. Nice. Can you see him in the shadow? Yeah. Okay, cool. Togue, go let him go too. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go try to catch mine. Hopefully something's there. Hopefully. I'll pull him back out. Okay, pull him out. Bait hit bottom for three seconds. Super dark. Just sucked it right in. Probably a male. He's got a very pointy nose. Get back in there. Unless he dropped it and it's just dropping down. He probably swallowed it and then he, now he's looking for more food. Well, because I'm pulling it up like this. If you can feel him and just easily bring him to it the hole. It may be a cusk. Yeah. But it was swimming real fast. Cusk. He's just big enough. I'd be willing to cut him up if you want to keep him. Mm, if you want to let him go, you can too. I feel like we should let some go. Yeah, let him go. I'll show the camera on him for a second. He's a little small. Both the other ones are bigger. Steady ready.
go this way now. Coming to me, I can feel so hold the bait. Big. Tusk? Togue. Feels like a togue, Bill. Well, it's not small. Probably a cookie cutter. Unless he starts getting more feisty. He's got some weight. There you are. A decent togue. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got another flag right there. Flag again! Maybe 20, more like 18, 19. You see him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, look at that. Heenan Alexander. He came popping right out. Just hooked me right in the hat. Look Going at me. In. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> He's good. So we have him away. Um, so that's how close it is to my eyeball. Look, they have glasses on. Yeah. Yours. Thank you. And that right there hook is yours. Thank you. We probably don't want to keep him. We have two. No, we can send him. Okay, get in front of it. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish? Nice fish. Let me know if you see a leader. Leader. Oh. Oh. It's fine, honey. It's fine. Oh, okay. Okay. That, that's, that's a little intense. Well. Okay. Good man. Watch out. Yeah. Come back. Nice fish. You got togue. Nice togue. Come back. On a smelt. Right there. On the smelt. All right, I'm gonna go. Smelt still on the hook. Nice. I honestly had it probably like 10 to 15 feet down. Start working your next cup, I'll be right over. Nice fish. Nice fish. Hi. 
these fish. It's a cask, it has to be the way he pulls his head like that. You need your pliers, but it's yeah. right here. It's an easy release. Pretty one, but not that big. wicked scar right there. Okay, that was my eyeball. <laughs> Get this air bladder pushed out a little bit. Maybe I'll get some cast it in good. Here we go, bub. Wrap right around my hand. Little oh. snakey snakes they are. Ready? They're definitely weirdos mm -hmm. about taking off. They like to be touched sometimes. Oh yeah, he's moving his little fins around. Getting all ready to go. Here he goes. You wanna run down? I wanna run down for the day. So, get out here, not at first light, but within half an hour of uh, sunrise, being above the horizon. Started off the day with a cusk all the way out on the farthest trap. And then while we were still setting the second flag and I caught a toad right at 18, kept him just in case we didn't catch any more for the day. And then I've been running around between two traps until we were able to get all of Emily's traps set up. And then we were running around from my two traps and all of Emily's traps like madmen till probably noon. Hmm. Where we were just bouncing flag to flag, back to back and forth. Um, a lot of togue. Just a couple of good cusk. Not one single brook trout. Not one.
Nice size. Hop right off. That was ringing. Oh, got a lot of line out. That was singing. Nice size fish. Uh, that's a tog. Far a tog. Yeah. God damn it. It's just over at our line, so. You got it? Yeah. Oh. Nice one. Nice dark. Yeah. Dark tog. Dark is long. Nice dark tog. I don't want to get the camera. Do I look like I'm hidden in my hat? <laughs> okay, I took like 14 of them, so. I, um, I don't know about the hook, hon, but he's mad. That was weird. That was really weird. I don't know if he's on there or not. I really don't think he is. I, I felt him though. Then he came back and grabbed it. I don't know. I just was like pulling it and then I just decided to ream on it. Weed's still there. That was weird. Of it. Oh, flag! You guys, Togaloga or Cuscalinga. Well, just keep going until it's not dropping properly. Oh, Jeff's on it. Oh, I got him. I got something on here. Nice. Let him take it. He came back looking for his friggin' meal. Hold that. Just hold it, let him see. Good weight. Yep, cookie cutters, 1820. Yep. I'm gonna take this just because he's taking it. Okay. Trust your instinct, son. You've done plenty of fishing by now. Oh, he just popped off. Oh, oh no, he didn't.
nothing to take this fish off with. So the only option I have is a lighter in my pocket. So what's we gonna do? I guess it's not even here. Dude, really? He does not. I don't let him know any of this. Time to get tired. Little tusk. Not huge. But we'll keep them, because uh, why not? They are limited. I got nothing, so... Uh, yeah, sorry, dude. We're gonna uh, burn this off with a little flick of the flame. So. And I'm gonna wrap all this up.
So, <laughs> just wait a minute, get some coffee into this. Alright. What time do we go to bed? We went to bed at about 10.30. Was it? That's what time they went over there, when we started getting quiet. Mm -mm, 9.20. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm always right. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> by 10 o'clock we were all asleep. It was snowing already pretty good. We already had like three or four inches. We went to bed, and about two hours go by, and the roof collapsed. At midnight. At midnight. So, you know, I popped it up, shook all the snow off. Everything was good. A couple things dropped. It um, took a little bit of weight whoa. off of the roof. Well, we were good the first time. No, I was freaking out. That so. thing would have hit me in the head. So it didn't. So we were good. And then Emily went back to sleep. I was still awake, just waiting, worried. And about 30 minutes later at 12.30, she came down with vengeance. <laughs> and one of the sidewalls. So when the roof came down and the sidewall came in, it blew the buddy heater across, across the, the room. whole whole ice shack. Um, and broke the buddy heater. And fucked up my pilot. Wouldn't we had stay no, lit. We had no heat for a second. <laughs> yep. So Keenan was standing there in his underwear, basically, just trying to get heat going. Anyways, we were resorted to the propane stove that old Coleman. Saved us. Saved us. But we were scared that the wall was going to come in again. Yeah, in the in the Coleman doesn't have an automatic shutoff, so... So it would have burnt the place down. I was kind of watching it all night. Yeah. Which means we didn't sleep good. We got like a good two, maybe three hours. Solid so, sleep. Uh, recommendations. Um, if you sleep in your ice shack and it's going to snow. A foot. Don't put it under a ton of trees that drop all the snow off their branches onto your shack. Yeah. I also, thought a tree came down. If you made a middle post... For your center yeah, hub. Yeah, that's what I kept thinking in my stick, head for you to do. You would have been okay. It's falling asleep telling you to fix the buddy heater. <laughs> and then I was like, he could go outside and just take a hatchet and break down a stick and just. Psh, and we. I, it, we would have been fine. Yeah. It would have held it up. And that wouldn't have popped off, in if that good. didn't pop down. So we would have just gone to sleep and been great. But who wants to go find a stick and a foot of snow at one o'clock in the morning? When it's snowing hard. It was a rough night. We survived. The non-blood relatives, they uh, had the same thing happen. But <laughs> at 4.30. At, but at 4.30 a.m. Technically, it was like 4.15 a.m. Because I was still awake. Their and carbon monoxide detector was going off all night, too. <laughs> we all had a good night. We had a great night. We caught fish yesterday, though. Lots of fish. We didn't catch one single brook trout. Not even a Not six one. incher. Not one brook trout. We had about one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six lines at most set for a, a brook trout. I had three traps. They were all deep for togue, and I was busy with those three traps so much that I never even set my fourth. And then I got sick of running because obviously... Oh my, God, my body hurts so bad. Can't use a sled. And if you're targeting brookies and togue, then your traps are 300 yards apart and you're just killing your quads. Rough night. Yeah. Also, we didn't break any personal bests, but we did catch some good togue. Yeah. That but, orange one I call is really pretty. Yeah, it was. We ate them last night. Yeah. Very oranged out male. Lots of cuss. Yep. Lots of cuss. Yep. Somebody from Canada is going to watch this and say, what are you guys talking about? What's a cusk? What's a cusk? Burbit. It's, it's a cusk. Cusk. Lawyer fish. I would never Eel -pow. call it a burbot. 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 Burb. It's a burbot. It's a burb. It's a burb. A. 
Eh, got a burby. Mm. It's not as bad as eel pout. No. Yeah. So, uh... Last day of the trip. Last day of the trip, we're gonna go drill a hole and set a trap in it and maybe catch a brookie to ring it in. Not one brookie. It's gonna suck. Absolute donkey, but getting all this shit out of here. <laughs> Yep. In the snow. We're living like pioneers out here. We need some help. <laughs> Keenan's just like, poof. We're good. Embrace it. Embrace the world. My. Oh, you want to grab it right by the balls? The power of editing. I'm just slightly struggling.
Well guys, it's the end of the trip. It's about 2 p.m. on Thursday. We got here Tuesday at about 8 a.m. And we made some memories. Once again, this lake did not disappoint. The only disappointment was that we did not catch one single brook trout, which is very strange. Um, we think the pressure wasn't right, just with the storm leaving and then another storm coming in. Um, they just weren't feeding, so we still have three traps set right now. And everyone just left to pack up, and Keenan just has too much weight on his sled to bring me up with him, so he's going to come back and get me. That's a wrap for our annual Allagash ice fishing trip, our second annual Allagash ice fishing trip. We'll be back in the spring for the smelt run. And once again, this beautiful, gorgeous lake just does something to you. I could just get one more flag though. Just one more flag. Should probably walk out there and just start picking them up. 